Good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500 for Sunday, February the 27th, 2022. Markets opened with a very strong gap lower today as Globex got started about two hours and 20 minutes ago. The S&P initially opened at 42.99, dropped very quickly within the same 30 seconds down to 42.51 to be down about 128 points before the market then began to start to rally back. It was sticking in a pretty tight range until the Asian markets opened. And that has brought out a round of buyers as we can see here that the S&P has gotten up to back above 4,300. So all in all, I think it's just a small bounce. It's reached up to the hourly four, getting to the eight, we still got the 200 above. What this does is that it does bring about a little bit of a change to the count as I had it coming into uh, today's opening. This remains intermediate wave two, that completion point at 45.85, that was intermediate two. Then I've now completed and walked this back what I was counting as a minute or a minor third wave, I think it may have been, or even a minute third wave. And now I've completed and moved it to that it's one, two, three, four, and five. And that just finishes the minor first wave of intermediate wave three. Um, not that it's a bad habit of mine, but I do catch myself sometimes counting a little bit too quickly. And what I'm thinking is uh, a larger third wave. But one thing that I did notice and kept commenting on as we're doing it is we're getting the acceleration, but it's quickly met by buying. Acceleration bought it, acceleration bought it, acceleration bought it. And it wasn't until we got into the final fifth wave coming off that we saw an extended period where there was more of a hurry or a quicken of the pace to sell and get out of positions. So this fits pretty cleanly. And then this worked out to be a three wave, wave two. So I've not done it, but I'm now going to put it up there because I actually was busy uh, coaching. And so I wasn't able to finish this chart. So let me get that up there for us. It's somehow I have to do is get my computer to cooperate with me. There we go. That's pretty slow, but then again, it's taking in a lot of data. So that's going to be a wave two. So put that in. And being that a wave two, what this now suggests is we are now beginning to drop in a, a minor third wave of an intermediate third wave decline already underway. That fits much, much better. And I'll tell you why, because the start was a large gap. That is going to show the power of what this third wave can do. Even though that the rally is very volatile as well, it is that initial decline. It just slammed right through and basically almost did away with all of Friday's gains. And so I think this is an important thing to take note of that they may try to get back up and try to fill this gap, but the gap goes from 43.79.75 all the way down to 42.99, and then continue down to 42.51 before it was done and then was able to pick up and rally again. So that's a very large gap. That was the announcement. So it fits in the start of a third wave. Now, what can we expect coming into this? That this is just retracements. I'm going to now get rid of those retracements, um, remove, and now I'm going to put in some wave three retracements. So go back up to the top of wave two, and that was gonna be up here at 85. Uh, we're just going to stick it right there. Come on, please. I, there, got it. 
and we're going to bring it down to the bottom of wave one. Come on. Wow. There we go. I'm bringing this up to the top of wave two. Come on. Just going to leave it there for just a moment. And then I'm going to go in. I will change this, but I think this gives us some indication. Now, third waves. Longest, the strongest, contain that point of recognition. That point of recognition is going to look similar to that, but it's still got a little bit ways to go and will likely get additional gaps uh, lower. But what I am looking for is for this thing to. Uh, Boy, I wish my computers would just please work with me on this. Whew. It just is getting a little bit frustrating. So yes, folks, I'm going to get a new computer. There we go. So stay with me, come on. <laughs> I'm so sorry because it just takes and makes these updates so much longer than they need to be. What am I looking for now? We're looking for continued decline. I'm looking for, here's our support levels coming off. We have already gone through the, the earliest one, which was right there at 42.77 or 7.80, somewhere in that zone. That's already gone through and they've gone back above it. Now, 4,200 is next FIB support. We're running FIB extensions for what we believe will be wave three. So these will be just support, pause areas. Ultimately, wave three should, without too much trouble, get us down to 3902. And that is just where wave three would be equal in length to wave one. Now, if wave three is going to be truly as explosive to the downside as one would anticipate, then ultimately we are looking for 3,605 area. So let's go over support as this starts to unfold. We have 4,200, 4,143, 40, 4,086, 4,044, 4,005. It's got to get below that 4,101 area, which was the bottom of minor wave one. So that should be, that's given. Wave three should break that low and continue. Wave three may find some support at 3902, but I'm expecting because we're comparing the minor waves, minor wave three should be far stronger than minor wave one. So that's why I'm looking for 30, uh, 3788, 3718, and 3604 down to 3563 would be where I think minor three stops. Then we get a minor fourth wave bounce and a minor fifth wave in to, and then that will then complete this minor second wave. Excuse me, the, minor, the intermediate third wave. Please forgive me, I'm a long day already. Uh, but I wanna go out and I wanna see if I can get in and put our Fibonacci extensions for the intermediate third wave. So we got to go back up to that high. And we're going to go down to the low of uh, intermediate wave one. And then we're going to go back up to the high of intermediate wave two. Now I'll put it right there. I'll refine these numbers again. But now I'm going to go back down to my hourly chart. And let's see if we can open this up and let's see where we have overlap. So we really don't have a lot of overlap. We have where intermediate wave three would be equal to intermediate wave one at 39.90. I don't think that's what's gonna hold. If I'm looking for 39.02 within minor wave three, this becomes almost insignificant. And we begin to look at 36.23 down to 36.04. And all the way down to that 35 number. That may be where intermediate wave three will find its support to complete. Um, I'll straighten out those numbers. 
for uh, intermediate one, intermediate two. So we're getting the correct high, and we're getting the correct lows as we work our way through this wave. But these would be the very rough uh, numbers for where we're looking for intermediate wave three and also minor wave three. Minor wave three, we're looking for in these levels. And intermediate wave three, again, we're looking for down here. So basically almost both kind of come into the same area. And I would kind of go back and re-look re at that to see how that's all coming out. But right now, let's deal with minor wave three. Minor wave three, I believe, starts to come back down. Uh, again, I really do think that I want to just get rid of that so I can open it up. That the minor three rallies should be limited, but again, volatility is spiking back up above 30. And that suggests that the volatility is going to be strong for both downside and upside moves. With that in mind, I think we could probably look and say that this was one, and then we have an ABC possibly up, and that might be a small uh, minute wave two. And our next step would be just, we just really start to slide again in the third wave. We'll see, but again, support 30, uh, 382 is at 4,200, then 4,143. Then we start to drop quickly. Again, remember getting back below 4,101, which is the low from last Thursday is pretty essential for this uh, minor third wave. It should break that low without too much problems. And then that puts us down here at 4086, 4044, and so on as we move on lower. That's where I'm gonna end this. Trade smart, trade using your moving averages. They're now, they, they were very strongly lined up to continue the upside. But you can see, even on this 30 minute chart, when this gap occurred, it broke the four, the eight, the 20, the 50, and the 200 all on the opening move. Then it quickly regathered itself and retook the 200 and the 50. Now the four and the eight have moved down because of that pressure and the fact that we're trading lower. And so, yeah, this kind of looks like it could have finished that minute wave too. And our next step is down. So we'll be looking for it to break again, again, this is a 30 minute chart. When it breaks the 50, it's gonna add support to excessive selling. So acceleration down. And when it breaks that 200 again, we're gonna get some more acceleration down. And so even as we go up on our uh, timeframes, we're gonna be looking at the same thing. That from switching from all pointing to a higher market, now that's reversed. They're now beginning to all point lower. And that does suggest a continued weakness. This is where I'm gonna stop for today. Our next update will be on Monday, the 28th of February.